Hey, what's up? B Operation iDroid here, and in this video, I have some excellent news. NDS for iOS non jailbroken has finally been updated and will continue to be updated. So, for those of you that don't know, NDS for iOS is a Nintendo DS emulator available to all iOS devices running. 5.1.1 or above, except the iPod Touch 4th generation. But anyways, let's learn how to get this thing. Open up Safari and type in the URL ndsforios.angelxwin.net. Then click on download and you'll get to a screen like this. If you're non-jailbroken, you're going to scroll down and you'll see that it says install NDS for iOS stable via OTA or install NDS for iOS testing via OTA. Now you can choose whichever you like, they're self-explanatory, but I personally prefer testing. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that, and it'll say GitHub would like to install NDS for iOS. Click on install, then open up your settings, go into general, scroll down to date and time, turn off set automatically, and scroll your date past February 8th. Any date before February 8th works. Then you can go home and you'll see that your NDS for iOS application will install. If you do not follow these steps, NDS for iOS will not install. But once it does, open it once, and then you can go back into your settings and set your date back to automatically. Now you will have to repeat, the, repeat this process every time your iOS device turns off or you update NDS for iOS. But now that we have NDS for iOS, let's get some awesome Nintendo DS games for this great emulator. To do it, all you have to click is the plus sign at the top, and remember that you will only download games that you own. Please only download games that you own or else it is illegal, but it's up to you whatever you want to do. Once you do that, it will redirect you to Safari and exactly CoolROM.com, one of my favorite ROM websites, and you'll get a screen like this. So, you can browse for Nintendo DS games however you like, but for instructional purposes, I'm just going to click on New Super Mario Bros. to show you how to get a game. So, once you decide what game you want to get, go ahead and click on it and you'll go to the ROM screen for that game and to download it all you have to do is scroll down and click on download now. Now you'll know that your download has started because once you click on it on the top left next to your Wi-Fi or service provider you'll have a swirly loading thing and that's how you'll know that your download has started. Now NDS for iOS is still in beta so it's not complete so be aware of that but anyways once your download is complete You'll have a screen like this. Click open in and then click on NDS for iOS and then it'll open NDS for iOS. Note that this may take some time. So if it takes like 30 seconds, just please give it some time. Anyways, as you can see, I have my new Super Mario Bros there. But now let's go into the settings and see what's new with NDS for iOS. Okay, so automatically if you've had NDS for iOS before, you can already see some features that you are familiar with. But one of the newest and greatest features is the Dropbox Sync which enables you to save your saves into Dropbox, which is very convenient. Besides that, it has also been updated so that you can actually save in Pokemon games, which was one of the biggest problems with the original NDS for iOS. But anyways, let's play the game that we got and I got, which was New Super Mario Bros. So, one of the things with NDS for iOS that I mentioned before is that it's not a complete emulator. It is still in beta and it's being developed as we speak, so more updates will continue to come out in the future but it does not run full speed on all iOS devices. Um, for example, here I'm using an iPad 3 and I'm getting really bad FPS. FPS is frames per second and that's how you can tell if your game is running at full speed. So as you can see, the, I'm only getting around 20 frames per second, but optimal is 60 frames per second, which is the best. So I'm gonna go over into my iPhone 5S, which is one of the devices that can run NDS for iOS at full speed. Other devices that run NDS for iOS at full speed is the new iPad Air or any iOS device with an A7 chip. Besides that, any iOS device with an A6 chip, for example the iPhone 5, does run NDS for iOS at a playable speed, but note it will not be at full speed. So please be aware of that. As you can see, I am opening up Pokemon Black version here for you guys so I can show you that you can actually save within the game because as I mentioned earlier that was one of the biggest problems with the original NDS for iOS where you cannot save in the game. So as you can see the game is running at full speed on my iPhone 5S and now I'm gonna go ahead and save to show you guys that the save does actually work. 
But again, please be aware that this will only work at full speed on A7 devices. But do know that the, the developers of this application, Infinity Dev, are working very hard to make this application even better and run at full speed. At the moment, as you saw in the settings, there's not many features, but there will be more features in the future. But because they're working on trying to get this emulator at full speed on almost all devices that they support, that is their number one priority instead of working on getting some more features. But anyways, I'm loading back up Pokemon Black version to show you guys that where I just saved did indeed work. So as you can see, I am exactly where I saved. So now you guys can play through your favorite Nintendo DS Pokemon games without a problem on your iOS device. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did then please leave a like. And as you saw in the video, NDS for iOS does allow you to also have GBA for iOS, a Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color and Game Boy Emulator at the same time. So if you're interested in learning how to get that, then click on the left or follow the link in the description. It definitely is another great emulator that runs on at full speed on all devices. Besides that, if you're interested on playing Pokemon Black 2 or Black on your iOS device, note that the CoolROM.com ROM will not work for it. So if you're looking to play those games, then click on the right or follow the link in the description to learn how to get those. Besides that, as I mentioned, MDS for iOS will continue to be updated and I will keep you guys covered on all those updates and all the newest features in regards to MDS for iOS. So if you'd like to be notified whenever I release a video, then hit that subscribe button. Thank you for subscribing and welcome to the operation.